Welcome to another Phoenix Lifestyle video. This is just a quick video with a lot of humor. Uh, just something for you to enjoy during the start of this holiday season. Um, it's not meant to be a how-to video. There will be a link in the bottom um, that will show you the right way um, from another YouTuber on how to properly fry a prime rib. Enjoy the video. Everybody stay safe. So it's Thanksgiving. Uh, today is fried turkey day. Uh, there are a couple of things, right? And I shouldn't say fried turkey day, right? Because typically Thanksgiving, you would think fried turkey, but I'm not frying a turkey. I'm frying a prime rib. And because I'm frying a prime rib, there are certain different supplies that you would need than if you were just frying a turkey. So we're gonna check out those different supplies. First thing is a fryer. This fryer is no different than any other fryer. Maybe a little bit larger than some. But aside from that, no different. I believe it's a 32 quart. It's gonna be my first time using it. Should be interesting. I talked about those different supplies you're gonna need when you're frying a prime rib. When I'm the cowboy hat. My daughter's holding my favorite cowboy hat. Sis, where's that cowboy hat? You gotta put that hat on. I gotta see what that hat looks like. Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. Because you can't cook certain foods if you're not dressed apart. Right? And the next necessary thing in that supply chain, right, is a good pair of cowboy boots. Right, because you can't do any sort of cooking like that, especially frying, if you're not wearing a good pair of cowboy boots. Then the last thing is an Ariat shirt. It doesn't have to be the Ariat shirt. It could be an Ariat jacket. But something needs to say Ariat on it that you're wearing. That makes the whole thing complete. It has that extra flavor. And I'm gonna be frying that prime rib. It's that beautiful piece of prime rib. I'm not gonna do anything but retie it, separate the bone, put some coarse salt, some coarse pepper on that bad boy, and then we're gonna let the deep frying begin. Oh, I hear that turkey fryer of a frying. Oh, let's check that temperature. I think we're getting there. Yeah, we're at 250, 200. All right, we need to get up. Another 150 degrees or so. Won't be long now. All right, it's a good hunk. I got the hat on, I got the area jacket. I'm going in. All right, it's in. Oil temperature looks good. Now it's sit and wait. Wait for that internal temperature to go up. I can smell a lot of goodness in there. I know you're probably not supposed to, but you know I gotta lift it out just a little bit, take a little look. Oh my God. Whew. Just lift it out a little bit so we can take a look. Woo yeah, I can't wait for that bad boy to get ready. All right, it's been about 15 or 20 minutes. Internal temperature is 56. Oil temperature, like 310, 320. You like that move, don't you? Because I'm used to wearing that hat, so make sure I don't get that on the hat when I do that. This is all about, you can't fry like this. If you're not wearing some Ariat, you don't have your boots on. It's just not gonna taste the same. All right, we've got an internal temperature now of 86. 
And it should be 85 to 90, so I'm gonna get ready to pull. Oil's like 325, so that's perfect. Oh yeah, that looks good. That looks good. That looks good. I, you know what? It looks about as good as I do in my cowboy hat. It looks pretty good. I'm more tender probably than this is gonna be. This is a good looking piece of meat. All right, now we're gonna put these ribs in. I'm not gonna use a pitchfork for these. I'm just gonna lay these babies right in here. Probably should have put my gloves on. Gonna let those bad boys go to town for about 10 minutes. See how they come out. All right, it's been about 10 minutes. That looks good. Let's get all of that grease off of there. I'm gonna hang that right there and I'm gonna turn off this fryer. The only thing left now is to take off my area because I don't wanna get anything on it. I'll leave my boots on now. Let me get to some eating. Thanks again for watching another Phoenix Lifestyle video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Everyone have a safe and happy holiday season. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.